not too long ago, I up- uploaded a video on how to send SMS using PHP and InfoBeep. In that video, we could only send a message to a phone number at a time. So you couldn't do multiple uh, numbers or you couldn't send message to multiple phone numbers at a time. So somebody suggested or somebody made a request that or asked that if it is possible to send to several numbers at the same time. So as you can see here. So let's uh, answer that person's uh, a request. Let's make it work for him. And I hope this will also help one or two persons out there. So let's get started. So to send is, uh, multiple SMS, I mean, an SMS to multiple numbers, what you do, you enter the various numbers like this. Uh, each number will be on the same, on a single line. So like you enter the first number, press enter, and so on, just like you can see here. So once you have that, then of course type your, the message that you want to send and you submit it. Okay, in my case, as you can see here, I have it typed already. And make, make sure that you put the country code. All right, so send it, it is sent. All right, so let's see if it's actually sent. So, oh, okay, you can see on my phone right here, you can see the pop-up right here. So the message is sent, as you can see. It also sent to another number that I used. Okay, so let's see the back end in my, uh, in the application, I mean, I mean the API. So you can see this one is delivered. Look at the timeline. So it's also delivered. Okay, so it's also delivered. Look at the timeline right there. Okay, so so if you go back, you see when it's actually the same time it was sent. All right, so they were sent to, I mean, the uh, message was sent to two different numbers. All right, so of course I had some uh, errors earlier as I was doing it, uh, uh, testing it out. You can see that this one was rejected. That was earlier, um, about a few minutes ago. All right, so I've sorted that out. All right, so let's get right into it. Open your VS Code or any other editor of your choice. Like I said, if you have not watched your other video, go and watch it because some of those uh, configurations are not in this video. This is strictly for the code that will send multiple, I mean, SMS to multiple lines. All right, so this is the the uh, the index page or the page that the interface that you see. Okay, so it's just a basic HTML. All right, so you could use anything you want, but uh, this for the sake of this, this is what I use. You can see the uh, the basic HTML right here, right? Um, so on the HTML, what you have is a, uh, a basic form that has an action sending to send uh, send SMS the PHP. Okay, so right, so you have the the phone number, then you have uh, that is in terms of the class and the ID or the name. They also have the message. Okay, so all right it looks like this okay so uh basically that's what you have they also have the css that makes it look uh, cool so this is the css right here so nothing fancy here you could do your design uh, this is not about uh, how you could use css and all that but i need to make it look uh, at least clean so it to be okay to look at all right so this is what you have okay so now let's get to the real thing, the reason why we are here. Uh, okay, so now we have a post method, so it goes to this send sms.php. So we already have some uh, information here. This is exactly the same code that we had in the previous one, if you have seen that. So we're going to see if the server request uh, method is post, then we create a variable of message, then also create the variable of phone numbers. Then because you have multiple numbers coming in, so we need to explode it, meaning that we need to put them in different lines, basically. So that's why you have the explode function. You have the backward slash n, so that will put it in different uh, numbers like this. So uh, like that. So so that will make it to be picking it one by one, basically. All right. So that's basically what that means. So we're going to put uh, put it in, a, in such an array of of that type. So then we will have the um, the API, the URL, which is the basic, the, uh, basically the address of the website of that uh, API platform we are using. Then we have the API key. This one, you get it from your from your page when you register with them. As you can see, you pick it up from there. So you just copy it. So once you have it copied, then you paste it here moving forward. Okay, so this usually expires, I think, after two days or so. All right, so then we have the configuration. Um, configuration 
uh, object then which with um, i mean where you have the the api uh url and the and the key then we don't have the destination okay so on the destination so we, we want to be able to loop through or i trade through the various numbers that's why we have that uh destination there they have the for loop which is not to we are saying that so that of the uh the host the api url and the key so those on those i mean those on do the configuration in terms of how you can connect uh uniquely okay so that's what basically what you have in line uh 17 and line 18. all right so then uh, that's what you have there okay so then uh the destination uh then you have the destination array there then we have to look through it then we are, going to, we are not saying that if the number so we will trim the number to make sure that there's no space in between okay so that trims it at in line 22 so um all right so that's why you have the numbers there so we now look through that those uh, the number that will be that you have then if it is not empty that if the number is not empty so what you do is that you you um you bring in the destination and create a new object of send i mean of sms destination to the number so as you can see here so as individually the number will be picked as you are, as is iterating through then it will be it will put everything in that uh, in that array that destination uh, destinations array so we're not going to say then the message a variable which is equal to send text to a message uh, object they will pick in the destinations okay then they will now also pick in the test this one is also very similar to what we did earlier in the previous one then the test and the message then um test rather right, message then um uh, from then whatever is coming from okay so it's going to be attracting through there why it, it go it picks or sent to, to the message i mean send the message rather okay so that's basically what you have here for the phone number then you have uh, this all right so the the form may not show because you need to actually pay for it to have a unique uh, to have a unique sender sender id but in my case i'm just going to use one to test it it's going to show their own uh, their own uh, name so when i say request equals uh send at uh, sms advanced textual uh, request so that is an object right there so we don't see response will not be the api the send message then the message is that your request so if everything goes well what we'll do is to uh, send the message to confirm that it has been sent so that's why you have or display message that uh, rather so that's why you have a uh, bulk sms message sent uh, right there okay so let's see how we can go through all of it again uh let's see let's see okay so you have it here you have the the, the post method if if it meets that requirement then create the variable then you explode the number various number that is entered because that it is going to split the number uh by new line okay then you now have the api url then the api key they have the configuration uh right there then you now have uh the uh you don't have the at the destination then you have the iteration here using a for loop a construct then you look through the whatever number you have so if the number is 10 for, for example it's good to make sure that it loops through it and uh, so that you're able to send to each of the numbers okay so that's basically what you have there all right so then we'll get to this uh, area where you have the request equals send advanced textual request and so on so if everything goes well it's going to send so don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so to this channel like the video share it and i see you in another video